Pendulums, assemble! What's good, boss? Why'd you assemble us? Today is an important day in the history of Pendulum. Today, we reclaim our throne as the best deck, and we destroy this locals. Who's with me? Let's go! We got this! Yeah! Let's go! Ooh, nice gray swamp pants, Triff. Salim, I'm literally your fucking dad! What the heck kind of Alabama has it? That fucking bullshit's going on! Get the, get the person out of here! Salim, get the heck? Ew, that's gross. Salim, get, get out of here. Salim, oh, thank you, Mike. You're demoted! You're demoted! From three to one, you're demoted! Get out of here! What's going on, guys? Focus! We have a big game on our hands today. We must win. Let's go, Trent. We got this. Yeah, Zephyr's got your back. Magician's got your back. Let's go, guys. We're going to destroy them all. Synchro's got your back, too, Trent. Let's go. No way, sons or bots. I will not be accepting no bricks today. If you brick, I'm disowning you. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong with bricks? Oh, of course. The biggest brick in the planet, Purple Poison. What the heck do you want? Yo, Trent, get your chicken legs out of here, bro. What are you talking about? What do you mean I got small legs? You got small tits. I'm going to have small titties, but I got a big-ass booty. Almost as big as your big-ass nose. My nose ain't even that big. Oh shit, don't don't turn around, Trip. Your big ass nose might hit me. But y'all don't say that. Yo, Poison, you don't talk about our Lord and Savior like that. Get out of my face. Let's go, boys. Pengod, I got you, bro. I got you too, Pengod. I got you too. I got you too. I got you too. All right, thanks guys for having my back. Those two bombs can get out of here. Today, we destroy locals. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Can I get a let's go? Let's go. Let's go. Next up, locals. Let's go. So we just got the dollies. Another day, another tournament, another victory. The best jerk chicken ever. This jerk chicken cocoa bread is literally the greatest creation of mankind. You can't put up seven negates on an empty stomach. Are you better than everyone here? Only, only the guy behind the camera. So Astro, I, I want to play pure Zephra. Yo, bro, you ready to beat the Pengon? Yeah, of course. Okay, I love to see it. I love to see it. What a beautiful day, baby. Locals time. Let's go. So, here I'm going to be playing against Altergeist. I am playing Endymion, Zephra, Magician, DPE. Let's go. He strikes our abductor. He solemns the Zephra. So now we're free to play. I pen call away. So we're going to go scale, scale, pen summon. And then at this point, we're going to Crowley first. We're playing Spellbook Blue Boy in here. And then at this point, I'm going to pen summon my whole hand. I got Barona 4 out ASAP. I'm trying to get it out ASAP. I draw two first. I get Barona 4 out. And then, boom, he hits me with the manifestation. I'm like, that's all right. At this point, we're in a good scenario for victory. I want to pop everything as possible. I go Soul Selene, Axis Code, pop, pop, pop. And through double uh, Solemns, we still pull off the victory. Let's go. So now we're going to go on to game number two. And while we go to game number two, I want you guys to look at our Lord and Savior, Endymion, the Mighty Master, covered by our side deck cards right now. But look at that. Oh, my God. Literally the greatest playmat in the game. I think we have six left right now. This is one of the first playmats I've ever released on the website. So if you guys want to get yours, go on TriffGaming.com right now to get it. We're literally only six left. There's a chance that by the time this video is posted, that is gone. But if it's there, I'll honor it and make sure you guys get it. I go Danko and he goes GG. What about Danko's game here? Danko's game. Not much he can do to a Danko. And as good as Denko is, there's nothing my opponent can do here. We're going to go for the OTK. And this is why blowout cards like Denko are just absolutely insane. Like Stream Allow Golden versus Combo, but for traps. Let's go. I ended up winning round one. It was a great match. Now we're going to go walk around, watch some of our boys play. Are you playing Dino? Yeah, that's he the best card. He made that Dark Road no more, bro. He clap you up? Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, my board was pretty big. Yeah. Was it enough to win? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, it looks like yeah. Hero isn't best deck. He has less cards in deck than I do, and I don't think it's a win con. <laughs> Yo, Dixon, we're both 1 0 now. Do you think you can beat me? Yo, your deck's insane, bro. I'm scared. Can you go easy on me? We'll see, we'll see. Let's go, Dixon. Let's see if Dixon can take the king off his throne. I have yet to lose at Dolly's in like four years. So let's see what's going to happen here. We already know the Pen God is reigning supreme. Let's go. We put up a bunch of negates up here. Bunch of negates. Go Dagda, Providence, that side, the Divine Strike. Like, and then Verte. Like, oh, I go Selene first, bring up the Mighty Master. Fusion Destiny. Look at this board. Like, this board is absolutely cracked. Like, we're talking Jackal, Master, 
Scythe, uh, DPE, Baron to four, Divine Strike, Selene's gonna bring back a Mighty Master of Jackal. Like, look, I negate with Jackal, or I negate, I negate with Mighty Master, Selene bring back the Jackal. Absolutely broken. He goes, uh, Lightning Storm, there's nothing you can do there. Like, that was absolutely cracked. Uh, this is the beauty of playing uh, in Demian Zephra. Magician is that your boards are so insane. Not, it's, it's way stronger than Magician and board-wise, but it is way more susceptible to drool. And, oh, nice arm there. I love, I love looking at my biceps. You guys know when you, like, brush your teeth and just uh, stare at yourselves, or, or it might just be me. Anyways, let's go. You guys, you know, if you can love yourself, it's, there's nothing wrong with some self-love. So here he's going to go uh, bringing out, you know, this is a typical dino board. He's going to go Tanka Tops, Dolka, Conductor. This is a solid board, protected from Lightning Storm here. And uh, I don't open the Sphere Motor Lava Golem. If we did, obviously this duel is over. But we don't actually end up drawing a side card. So here I'm going to try and bait his cards out as soon as possible. Go Poison, because uh, it was destroyed Pop Conductor. So I need to survive at this point. It's looking brim. I don't think we're surviving. He does have Panka Tops there, pops our scales, and then nothing we can do. We're gonna go straight to game three. But game three, this is where Pendulums uh, absolutely reign supreme because what's he gonna do? No, no deck could stop our end board here. Uh, Dino is, uh, is pretty good against it, but here we're playing around all hand traps. We're being very smart with our plays just in case he has et cetera, et cetera, hand trap. Uh, we go Zephrath, we go Zephyr Nui, Duels Lines get pen caught. We're all good, we're all good. Uh, we're setting up an end board. Well, I kept in mind, I'm taking a little longer here because he is playing Dino. Scythe is decent against Dino, but not absolutely incredible. I pen summon, I go Brone to floor, I add, uh, I go to Time Star here to get souls. I want to go get a Time Star here because I'm trying to set up pen graph, and then I'm like, you know what, I don't think this is going to happen. I get free draws off souls here. I go Dagda, I set, Verte, and I'm going to go ahead and get the big boys out here. I got Poison, DPE in this, so... At this point, I do make a slight error, okay? He goes Misk off the bat. I don't want Misk to protect all his cards, so I'm going to negate that. He goes Lost World. I pop it because I have Divine Strike. Then he just activates another Lost World. I'm like, fuck, I have Divine Strike. I want to use Divine Strike on Obi Raptor. He's going to add a uh, Conductor to hand, and we're literally one card kill. Scythe, not so good against Dinos. We lost. I'm fucking salty. Holy fuck. Man, what a misplay. Not popping the field spell on the effect instead of just popping it right away. I wanted to Divine Strike the Obi Raptor, not to give him a chance to Obi Raptor Search Conductor. And just that little bit of greed, I don't even call it greed, but error, error of judgment costs us the game. We ended up losing oh, our first loss. So sad. I'm so ass, bro. How the fuck did I find that play? We did a numbers game, man. We were just hoping he didn't have another Lost World. We were forced, we were forced to pop the Lost World right away so we could Divine Strike the Obi Raptor because what I learned from Sam yesterday playing for fun against him was that like, with Scythe Lock it's very difficult you cannot Evo Pill with Scythe Lock because you have no non-dinos however you could use Obi Raptor to add Conductor and it just because we're at 6k it's easy game and because Verte is on the field I should have just popped my Verte as well Oh man, I should have popped my Verte on my turn so he can't kill it. That's another huge lesson learned with Dino there. And it's the first time my board was broken without Dark Lord dro or Droplets, but that was our absolute misplay. And you live and you learn. So if you're watching this video right now, Dino is still a duck that's around. This is why you're watching the vlog. This is why you're watching the video. It's not just about winning as much as I would like it to be and because of how it normally is. It's about learning misplays and, and moving forward and playing better and win your events, win your regional, win your YCSs. Against Dino, you you because of Conductor clearing the board for 6k damage, always make sure in that matchup that DPE pops your Verte Anaconda on your turn so you can still save it. Also, something I learned is always save the DPE for their Lost World and your Scythe. Don't use it right away, especially because you have Divine Strike to protect from Dark Ruler. Lesson learned, we're going to keep our chin up and move to the next, next round, round three. Let's go. And it is snowing in Canada. I hate the snow. Bring me to Cali. Let's go. Round three now, we're about to face Drytron. Let's do this. Well, the battle of who is the better combo decks. But we're not just facing any normal player. We're facing world's competitor. But guess what? You won't be the only person from Scarborough going to Worlds. Me. Yeah. Right. Winning Worlds. Just this close right now. Let's go. We are 1-1. One, one. Now we are going on to round number three. We go first against Dytron. And look, if Dytron ain't going first, they ain't winning. 
that well they are pretty good but like not as good as pendulum so we're just gonna set up our classic board here we're gonna go draw 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 pendulum summon oh my god this is so beautiful we're on the floor we got dagda we got scythe we got servant to come out we got a jackal and there's just like there's not much our opponent can do here we're gonna go soul we're gonna verte satu <laughs> like look at this board bro a jackal divine strike like it's absolutely broken what this deck could do uh he's gonna go into cyber emergency and he's play like there's site resolves there's there's nothing they can do at this point but uh so he just scoops there so we're gonna go on to game number two so now game number two against drytron our strategy to win is very simple it is open severe mode open lava golem open dark ruler that's it we just need to open one of our nine we have nine outs to their board and playing this deck the only out they have to our board is really drill and lockbird we play around droplets because of divine strike and because we have so many negates with this deck the only real answer here is droll so we're gonna just uh see if he's gonna actually open the droll here and there's not much you can do to play around droll playing this deck it's uh but we'll see i think uh, all i need to do now for this one is open sphere mode if i draw sphere mode i win look at my upstart i try to draw into it i'm like oh my god we still didn't see it six cards 40 card deck like five draw cards didn't see one of our nine outs it's fine uh we have we, like nine is even an oversight tbh we do our best but we really can't clear that board there's just no chance you guys saw all of them when i sent them out now we're going first and there's nothing you can do going first only out we had nine outs to in a 30 in a 40 card deck 36 card deck to out his board he has three outs to us this droll so mathematically we're gonna win and uh obviously fucking has the droll sag fucking multiple sag oh my god just i ended with a fusion destiny there's nothing we could do there and he just wins it's it's sad all right boys as much as i love our endemian draw deck here droll does hurt us a lot dp helps us play around it but powerful decks like drytron and birds that also play droll against us it doesn't work out for our strategy playing uh, 25 spell cards so despite the fact that it's really good when it resolves it's never a good idea to play a deck that's more powerful when it resolves but not playing around a deck a card that's of three of in every single person's side deck so with that regard i've decided that until droll retires from the meta we have to retire this version of the deck we're gonna go back to our pure magician version which still puts up the same boards slightly worse but we're at least guaranteed our scythe lock Matt, look, that's that's the meta for you. We are gonna get Droll. That's the reason why we stopped playing Endymion. Droll is a legitimate part of the meta. And it's not doesn't make sense for us just to ignore it. It's a huge part of the meta. So with that being said, moving forward, after all this testing, I can confirm that Pendulum Magician is the best version, but with DPE. So Pen Magician DPE. The next locals we go to, we're gonna be playing Pendulum Magician DPE. We gotta get our hands on Prosperity. This is gonna be pretty tough for us to get. We're gonna go find it somewhere. So that's what we're gonna play moving forward. So I'll see you guys at the next vlog. I'm gonna go ahead to the gym right now. We're gonna end a little early because we are X2. So we're gonna go ahead out to local, uh, to, to, uh, we're gonna go ahead out to LA Fitness right now, get a workout in. That's gonna be it for the vlog. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Three duels today. Hope you guys learn from it. We gotta play around Droll, baby. And the best way to do that is Pen Magician. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.